Hi, today I'm reviewing a movie called Holiday Boyfriend. Uh, yeah, this this is um, an interesting movie. <laughs> One, I think that, well, this is the kind of movie that will appeal to people that watch rom-coms, no matter how idiotic certain characters are. Um, let me just explain myself here. I don't watch a lot of rom-coms. In fact, very few, and I, I hardly ever review them. So these comments are coming from a person who generally doesn't watch rom-coms. Uh, so uh, I, the thing I loved about this movie was the families, the way the families interacted. And I don't want to get into the plot too much because to, um, to say too much would be, you know, spoiling a lot of stuff that happens real early on. So I will just say that Holiday Boyfriend is about a woman who uh, is bound and determined to, to marry rich, apparently, and uh, wants to pass off this uh, friend of hers, a man who uh, is so shy that he can never speak up um, and say, hey, I, I love you, or whatever, um, as, her, as her boyfriend. So I, I think I haven't said too much at this point. Um, Suffice it to say that there are a lot of twists in this movie that are very interesting, that took me by surprise, uh, and um, they could come early on. And um, the other thing I liked was the families. Uh, it, this girl has a family that uh, I, I'm, I'm sitting there during that first you know, scene with the dinner, that, not at the first scene, but it, it's just where they're all together at dinner, and I'm like, man, I've been to this dinner, or some version of it. <laughs> It's excruciating, but funny as hell. And um, you know, so uh, I think, to me, Nathan, that's the, the boy passing himself off as her fiancé or boyfriend. I can't remember which now. Does it matter? <laughs> um, so having said that, I just, you know, um, where was I going with that? I don't know. Um, yeah, because family is just, in, the interaction is fabulous and, and funny and cringeworthy. And um, Nathan, I think, yeah, that's a, Nathan is the protagonist of this thing, as far as I'm concerned. I related more with Nathan than I did with the woman. Uh, I mean, saying things like, uh, I can't give up on the dream of a lifetime. What, to marry a man that you don't even know, that you don't, Partic particularly love just because he has a lot of money. Wow. I thought, wow, is that still a thing? And then there was, I'm marrying a rich, handsome man before I become an old maid. People still use the expression old maid? Wow. Okay. Well, see? Okay. It's like, okay, this person has some very screwed up values. Uh, that's all there is to it. <laughs> but um, will love find a way? It's a rom-com. What do you think? <laughs> okay, it's, but it's a cute holiday sort of movie, you know, about family, about crazy family, and how wonderful and how awful at the same time they can all be. So that's it then, and uh, happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Watch a good movie. This is a fun watch, really it is. Just try to, you know, understand that this woman has her values, it's all screwed up. But she'll see eventually the error of her ways, right? We hope. Take care. Talk to you later.